Hello, my name is Raul Peridin from Numbus Enterprises, and today I'm going to show you a better, more secure Tyvek wallet that's made out of a 9x12 Tyvek envelope. Now, to make this wallet, you're going to need several things. You're going to need a roller, you're going to need some glue, you'll need a hole punch, an X Acto knife, some scissors, and something in order to help you cut a particular size hole. Besides that, you're going to need a piece of cardboard that you're going to have to be able to slide inside the envelope in order to protect it while you're cutting your hole. Now I have these envelopes in six colors. Okay, I have red, yellow, white, silver, black, and green. Now the one thing you want to remember about all of these envelopes is that the inside of the envelope is white. Okay, so no matter what the color on the outside, the inside is completely white. Now today we're going to be using the black envelope. Now this black envelope, I folded it, pre-folded it directly down the middle in order to know where the center line is. I've also folded it into three equal parts here because I'm going to be, this will be the height of the wallet. Now when you're done you're going to have six squares because basically there's going to be six credit card pockets within this wallet. Now the next step that we're going to be taking is to make the holes. So for that, I'm going to be placing a cardboard inside. It's going to go all the way to the end. And I'm going to be using the can and the X-Acto knife in order to make my holes. So I'm going to start by making the first one. And I'm going to be using the center line that I've made with the fold here in order to know exactly where the center of the wallet is. And it's a lot of fun trying to see it all when you're using a black envelope. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so now we have hole number one. Now I'm actually going to make two more holes in here, and when I'm done, I'll come back. Okay, so I've cut my three holes. As you can see, there are three here. Now the three holes basically consist of one at this area of the envelope itself, another one at the top here, and the third one is going to be in the middle. Now what you got to remember about the middle is that this section here is actually the bottom of the wallet, the visible part of the wallet when we're finished. So this section here, the middle, is going to be inverted, put inside the bottom here. It's going to basically become the inner lining of the outer skin of the wallet. And the top here is going to be the divider that's going to be in the center of the wallet. So whenever you put whatever hole you make here, if your hole has an up and a down side, you have to put this hole upside down. Okay, compared to the other two holes, okay, because this is right side up, this is right side up. This, the whole middle is going to be inverted inside, it's going to become the inner lining down here, and so it's going to be upside down. So make sure that you make this hole upside down if the hole that you want to make has an up and a down side to it. Okay, so now that I've done this, I can remove the cardboard, and then here I'm going to take my hole punch, because with the hole punch, I want to do a couple of things. First of all, I want to put an end or a small hole. Basically, it's going to create a form of a weakness on the Tyvek material 
at the corners where the folds will be. So that way it's going to encourage the wallet to always fold at that area, you know, in the long run. So I'm going to make those holes, all four of them here. And then I'm going to make two more holes. And I always make these holes right at the, and I don't actually make a big hole, I'm just nipping the sides of it. Okay. And then after that, based on where the center is, I actually want to make a couple of more holes, you know, basically about a half an inch off center on both sides of the center line. And I'll explain those two later. Okay, what I want when I'm done is a space of about at least an inch in between the two holes that I'm making. Okay, now after I've done that, okay, and I have these two small holes here, and then I have, you know, if I can take out the material, let me get back on that. Okay, so now that I've finished with that, you want to actually take out as little as possible from the uh, edges where you have the folds meeting here and here. And you also want to take out the, uh, the small edges I was saying from off center. You want to take out, you want to leave about an inch here. Okay, the reason for this is because this flap has to get cut into three pieces. And the cuts I'm going to make are going to actually land here. So let me actually make those cuts now just to get them out of the way. All right, so, and you want to make them, you want the end of your cut to land inside of the hole that was made. And you don't want it traveling any further. That's why I make the holes here in order to slow those things down. So now what we got to do so after having taken care of that is we got to get this inside. So we have to turn this into the inner lining. So basically we have to force the whole thing to get into the center of the wallet. And there's no pretty way of doing it. You know, it's pretty much forcing it in there. But that's what needs to be done. And you'll be very pleased when we're done to see what you get as a result. So right now, I'm just forcing it in here. The upper part remains the way it was. But the... the uh, middle section is, is getting all reversed and I need to make sure that the whole thing respects the initial folds that I did when I folded it into three. And remember this is Tyvek, okay, this is not paper, so we can be a little rough with it. We have to be if we want to get it to finally do what we want. And here's where those holes come into play because they help you identify exactly where these things are supposed to end up when they're done so that you do have everything the way that you want. Okay, now here in the back, it's fine. So right now it's just the middle section here. I need to convince to get down there. So let me take a ruler, because that's actually going to give me a hand on getting this done. And you don't want it to be a sharp ruler. In fact, dull is better. Side. There's the whole 
to this one. So now that I stretch it out, it helps them line everything up. And also when I'm done, I want to make sure that the center divider, he's actually in the wallet because I don't really want them sticking out. There. Now, now that that's done, okay, the usual procedure, first of all, this center part, I would remove the, the sticky paper that's on it and I would stick it into the, I'd lift up the first one here, I'd lift up the second one here, and then I would glue this down in here. I would remove the paper, glue this down in here. And then this one here, these two here, as you come, you can see that they encroach on the hole here. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to mark this with a pencil so I can have a general idea where the hole is. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut this section away. I'm even going to leave a little bit of a space between where the hole is and where the line, the edge of this thing is, so that it won't be encroaching on the hole. So now with this, I would unglue the edges here and I would be able to glue this down. And when I glue it down, what I end up with would be basically a wallet that would look just like this one, okay, where the sides are glued down, the center got glued down in between the two here. Now as you can see with this Tyvek uh, envelope, Okay, I got this flap here. This I'm going to fix by just putting some glue here. Okay, and when I glue these down, okay, there will be some extra flaps here that I would glue down as well. If you check my previous video, you'll see how I glued down these sections here, here, and here in order to stop the flaps from moving around. Now this one I'm not closing right away because I'm going to be using it in a subsequent video. I'm going to be showing you how to make the uh, aluminum pouches and shielding for the RFID uh, protection. And so that's why I'm not closing it up right now. But basically, you have your wallet here. You know, when you fold it up, okay, if you open it, you would see you have your two pouches in the front. When I open it up here, I have my two pouches from the divider uh, line. Okay, and also when I look at the back, I got two more pouches here to put cards. And the two large compartments, which are basically nine by four, so I'd be able to stick anything in there. Okay, so here you have, once it's closed, like I said, okay, you would have your Tyvek wallet made out of an envelope, and it would look basically just like this one here, okay, with everything sealed up. And so that's the Tyvek wallet. Thank you. So if you like these Tyvek wallets, I invite you to subscribe to my channel on uh, YouTube and also to check out my listings on eBay where I have the different envelopes available for sale as well as the wallets, but mainly the envelopes. Okay, and if you tune into my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to put an aluminum lining inside of the wallets. Okay, uh, there's two different ways of doing it and I'll be uh, showing both of them. Alright, so till next time. Thank you.